What up, community? Your man Evil Foot, Metro Manila. <laughs> you know the place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. I'm bringing you another evil sneaker review. Today we have an OG Colorways. This is the AJ7 Air, dead stock from 2015. So, seven year old sneaker. As always, music is from my homie Anthony Accurate, who is the illest producer ever. Local scenery here today, Metro Manila. Hope you guys can vibe with me. Feet on feet today are my AJ1 Obsidians. Uh, a lot of people call them the AJ1 or the UNC ones. I call them dope. I love the sneaker. Dope colorways, easy to throw with anything. And as always, EvilTshirtClub.com for the rarest, illest, most villainous t-shirts ever. Wow. Championship sneaker. So here we go. Aftermarket pH. Make sure you check these guys out. Uh, they can get you the latest and greatest, or they can get you some dead stock. So it's a, definitely a good resource. Uh, I leverage these guys a, a ton of the time. A lot of pickups from there. And as you see, we have the label here. This is what the boxes used to look like. And you see, we have the 23 gold paper. This box and this paper is typically what you see on the mids, but I don't do those. We have a retro card here, Air Jordan. Man, I miss those. I really wish they would use these retro cards all the time. Wow, look at this sneaker. Super clean, seven years old. He still, he still looks beautiful. Wow. And again, this is one of the OG colorways. Uh, it's not an OG sneaker because, of course, it's from 2015. This originally released in 1992. Uh, there were five different colorways for this. My favorite were the Bordeaux and the, uh, the Olympic 7. That was pretty dope. Uh, but this is cool. This is what was available. So, you know, in 9.5, so I grabbed it. Uh, also, the good news that I learned this year is uh, there will be a retro release of the Cardinal. Uh, so looking forward to that, I believe around August or so. So this is me building up my sevens collection to get prepared for that, that release. I'm really weak. This is literally my second seven. Uh, so really weak there. <laughs> and I love this out soul uh, inspired from West Africa. Love this out soul. It's super dope. And both of the tongues on this are, you know, this really takes you back to the 90s. Like if you were there, you, you automatically relate. Uh, they're a little bit different in color. I see more green on the left sneaker and I see more orange on the right. Uh, but that, that funky 90s design is something that really stands out. Here we go, taking a peek at the inner label. And I had like some kind of price tag, a seven year old price tag. So, you know, carbon paper. Uh, so you can't really tell what it is any longer, what it, what it was back then. I think it was 125, something like that. I paid a little bit more than that now. And we do have Nike Air on the insole there. And I tried to get the insole out, but it's, it's just glued in there. You know, seven years, not going anywhere without any damage at least. And you see we have the neoprene booty on the inside and this is very similar to the Hiraki that Tinker Hatfield also designed. Uh, so it was pretty cool how he pulled that over into the uh, Air Jordan sneaker as well. And these do run true to size, so 9.5 like normal. Clean sneaker, you got a new buck right here in the toe box area. Look at that. You do see a little bit of blue here again, old sneaker. You love the, the midsole here going into that outsole. Like it's pretty, pretty dope. The midsole is primarily white. And then you have those hints of red uh, as that transitions into the, the multicolors on the outsole. The sneaker is dope, super clean. Again, like I said, this is one of the OG colorway. My second AJ7 and to the left I, I really wish i did have this sneaker when i did my psg video so this psg is like a release from last year so 2021 i believe like mid mid part of the year 
and it sat on the shelf. Like no one was buying this sneaker really. I got a really good price on that. Uh, but I wish I had this Hair Jordan then when I did that video. So I'm just doing the reverse of that now. Here, I probably don't even get a lot of hits on this particular video. To be honest with you, this is just like a personal thing, uh, personal accomplishment. There you go with the outsole, pretty dope. Uh, but what I do like about the Cardinal when that releases later this year, that's gonna have this uh, similar black outsole uh, with a white upper. You see here on the back, it kind of just flipped that tag. And if you didn't know, I, I believe the seven is the only Jordan uh, that has the model number listed on it. Like, so you can see it has like the seven and the 23 on the back. And uh, that's pretty dope, right? And uh, no visible air unit as well. Uh, so definitely a transition uh, from what we, what we were used to seeing. That toe box area, that new, that snoo buck right there is beautiful. Very comfortable sneaker. This is one of those more snug fitting sneakers as well. Uh, reminiscent of the Hirachi. I don't know if you guys ever got into those. Um, I, I did wear those when I was younger. Here's another, another peek at the sneaker. So again, you know, my favorite colorways of these were the Bordeaux. This is what was available in my size now, so I had to grab it. 2015 was a really, really good year uh, for those. They also had a Marvin the Martian version of this. Uh, and that was a 2015 um, release as well. So my eyes are up, my eyes are open to go see if I can find one of those. So I can kind of like start building up my PJ7 collection because it's super weak, literally two pairs. But I get to put this one with my OG colorways. I'm up to 10 now. So yeah, pretty excited about that. This outsole is just beautiful. This is the most amazing part of the sneaker to me. So what do you guys think? All right, so that's that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Until next time, peace.